What's up, Bruce? Uh, today we're breaking this uh, blaster box of uh, 2021 OPG hockey. So, uh, for some reason, they decided to put uh, uh, this uh, Leon Dreisaitl on the box. Also, for some reason, uh, Leon Dreisaitl won a uh, hard trophy this year. I don't think there should be like any doubt that uh, McKinnon should have won it because... Uh, like uh, he was like truly dominant this year and uh, nobody else was even close no well like uh, through my uh, 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 pink uh, russian eyeglasses i could see like panarin uh winning but uh, like in uh, in my wet dreams but uh, that would be like a really big stretch but like drysider winning uh, her trophy like and then they put him on the box maybe i don't understand something about uh, the hockey, but uh, uh, to me, like, Dreisaitl can't even skate. Yeah, he, he positions himself, yeah, he shoots well, but that's a totally dependent player. It's not like McKinnon who, like, uh, takes the puck and uh, uh, creates everything himself, or like even like Panarin, although he's not, like, as physical as as McKinnon. But Dreisaitl, Dreisaitl for the heart, like, is it like some Canadian media joke, like it's... Uh, why to have like some voting if you're gonna uh, give it uh, to some uh, a guy from a Canadian a Canadian team? Okay, but let's check what's uh, what's inside. And uh, we get it going uh, with uh, Robin Leonard, who had a uh, pretty strong uh, playoffs, and uh, wow. So, there actually seem to be some major changes to OPG this year because uh, uh, usually the back of the card is, um, I'm not sure how to co call it, but the color of uh, uh, your toilet paper roll, uh, which is kind of in line uh, um, because uh, OPG is kind of a toilet, uh, toilet product, uh, um, usually like pretty, uh, pretty shitty, but... Uh, this year they changed it, uh, the background color to white and I actually don't like it at all. I think it makes uh, uh, the card look even cheaper than uh, uh, what it was during this uh, toilet roll uh, paper uh, back times. Uh, actually, uh, this uh, all white uh, design reminds a lot of uh, a lot of this Panini score sets. So this is... Uh, and also, Rasmus Delin. I wonder if this is like a retro parallel or what it is. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I think that's a retro parallel or something. That's like a regular base and uh, that uh, must be a retro. Yeah, re retro still have uh, uh, these colorful bags that they used to have in the past. Mm, yeah, mm, a very disappointing. Uh, Jason Zucker, it's pretty crazy that they are releasing uh, uh, this product so early and uh, team checklist of uh, NYI. Yeah, like uh, Barry Trotz really made a great job uh, organizing the defense of uh, NYI and uh, Simon Varlamov was really carrying them uh, this playoffs, but... Uh, yeah, Andrei Vasilevsky uh, turned to be a better in a better goalie in Eastern Conference Finals, and of course, offensively, offensively Tampa Bay is much better. Yeah, I'm actually rooting for Tampa Bay in a Stanley Cup Finals. That's why I have uh, uh, the, my uh, Vasilevsky high gloss, uh, eight out of ten uh, young guns uh, card here. Uh, I actually um, don't particularly uh, right, uh, like Tampa Bay, I don't particularly uh, like uh, Dallas, but uh, I don't have any good cards of uh, Dallas players, And uh, but I have a good, uh, uh, this good card of Tampa Bay players, so that's why I'm like uh, rooting uh, for Tampa Bay, just purely from the monetary perspective. Actually, uh, I bought this card, I think, for $80 during his rookie year. It was pretty tough card to find because it was in... Uh, it wasn't a regular Series 2, it was SPR, in a SPR authentic uh, later in the season. And uh, I think uh, that's... Uh, 
that's a retro rook of Alexander Yelesin. I think he used to play for uh, Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Uh, no, uh, yeah, like uh, Yaroslav, uh, Russia, yeah. Uh, probably uh, uh, right now uh, the strongest, uh, the strongest youth, uh, youth school in Russia. And uh, Maxim Letunov, of, uh, uh, actually I don't remember where he played, for, uh, played in Russia. I, I would bet like in CSKA in Moscow, but uh, I actually don't know. And... Uh, yeah, that's crazy about OPG. So there's team checklist and then the total checklist. What's the point of having uh, like uh, uh, the team checklist and then like a separate checklist? No, team checklist, I, I could understand if you would include like the logo, but this is like trash. And because this is kind of a hard card, I cannot even use it to clean, clean my ass. Uh, King Henrik. Yeah, it seems uh, that he won't be uh, playing on Oh, Broadway and 34th Street anymore. It's kind of going from King Henrik era to uh, Tsar Igor era. So, Ron Hansi on the copeter. Uh, Nikita Zaitsev. I think he had some drama with his family that uh, his, uh, his wife is sound like kind of alcoholic or like a drug addict and like took. Uh, took his children of him, but of course that's no that, that's of course the most interesting information. But somehow they n never write uh, write about uh, it at the back of the card. It's like the same like uh, uh, in uh, uh, in basketball. Oh, Arturi Lehkonen, uh, that's um, the red parallel. I think he was a rook last last year. And uh, league leaders in uh, wins, uh, Andrei Vasilevsky. Uh, played uh, for, uh, I think he is from Ufa, Salav no, no, he is from uh, the city of Tumen in north, but uh, I think they only have a VHL, a Russian AHL team there, uh, Rubin Tumen. Uh, but, uh, so he played in uh, for uh, Salavar Yulayev, uh, Ufa. Uh, in uh, Russia, Yaroslav Halak and uh, uh, Blake Wheeler, uh, yellow. I think uh, this uh, they always have uh, this type of the insert in OPG uh, retail. I think uh, this year this are called uh, Tall Boys. Uh, a little bit weird. Uh, an OPG Premier? WTF? Like, OPG Premier is a separate product. Like, uh, WTF like upper deck and uh, in general I find this tall boy's name like strange because tall boy it's uh, it's something like you would call like a, a long male device yes uh, this uh, OPG is not uh, I understand it's not the most exciting product uh, to break Andy Green long time devil a New Jersey a devil, like uh, I love him. Like I was a captain at uh, of a New Jersey Devils. Uh, not the most skillful player, but the player who gave 110 percent, like in Devils games every night. Yeah, but uh, before that we had M MVP, and I like MVP is like the total trash. Uh, so I couldn't, I couldn't motivate myself to open it. But uh, because the uh, the the problem is that I can't uh, find any retail products and uh, and uh, in uh, so uh, it's a little bit difficult. I think uh, like uh, my target is not stocking uh, uh, stocking any any hockey anymore. Uh, Joel Eriksson, Ack. I wonder if there's some kind of like. Uh, these are like some kind of team color parallels because okay Minnesota green like uh, then uh, Montreal red and uh, uh, Buffalo blue so these are like uh, the retros seem to be team colors uh, this uh, this year but 
but then uh, this uh, retro rock is not team color because uh, that like aqua is clearly not like flames color and the uh, legends of uh, uh, Yaramir Jagger I think I uh, played for all Atlantic Division teams except for Islanders I think the true true legend uh, June Merrow uh, Jonathan Hubert, uh, uh, the Calder Trophy winner in 13-14 uh, season. Also the special player for me because uh, the only uh, shield I have pulled myself was uh, the prime out of shield of uh, uh, Jonathan Hubert uh, in 13-14 uh, 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 prime. Uh, the, uh, that was like a great product, the last product when uh, Panini was uh, dumping, uh, dumping everything and uh, Oh, this is a blue of uh, Aaron Eggblood. Oh, and uh, uh, this is the a tall boy, a Rocky of uh, Gabe Willardy. Never heard about Gabe Willardy, but uh, his stats actually not uh, no 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 not terrible. Seven points in uh, ten games, like whoa, they're pretty. Pretty good, actually. A shock to pull him. Uh, I, uh, of course, not a high-profile rookie or anything like that, but uh, Brady, okay. uh, Nick Suzuki, uh, Mike Smith. Yeah. So overall, uh, no, impossible to find uh, any product. Oh, like uh, Tsar Igor, uh, Igor Shesterkin. Uh, fast product Moscow and Rangers retro so pretty uh, pretty cool like and uh, great stats like yeah but uh, but uh, I, I think if he would play more, more in the playoffs maybe uh, maybe Rangers would have more chances but otherwise like uh, uh, not really unexpected but a very disappointing first uh, round exit then I think uh, Artifacts, uh, 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 Artif uh, uh, 2021 Artifacts are coming out pretty soon, so probably I'll get a blaster. I get a, every year I get a blaster of uh, Artifacts because it's like a truly trashest, pro the, the most trash product uh, or trashest. What is the, is it the most trash or the trashest? Uh, how to, no, but you understand what, uh, what I mean, like... Uh, uh, the product uh, ever because you really get it for twenty dollars you get twenty cards and like uh, there were there were there are no guaranteed rockets not anything you'll get like something like uh, one card card number two two ninety nine or even three ninety nine and that's your hit so and uh, another toe boy of uh, Shin Munahan. I wonder if uh, they include only players who have uh, tall boys in between their legs into this subset, but I'm not sure. And uh, Yegor Karshkov also from uh, Lokomotiv, uh, Yaroslav, I think. Uh, I wonder, so he is a rook uh, this year. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he probably like... Uh, because he played a lot uh, last season, so I, I think there was, um, as always, there is like uh, this rook deadline in in early January, and those who debuted after that go uh, become carryover rooks for the next year. So overall, uh, of course, uh, pretty uh, pretty average blaster. No, so, some of you might say that it's uh, a bad blaster, but yeah, if you haven't opened uh, this OPG blaster, you might uh, I think uh, that uh, they are uh, bad, but uh, pretty, like I open them almost every year, so uh, pretty average in that respect. And so I think only two rooks, uh, Yegor Karshkov and uh, and uh, Maxim Litonov and then uh, a number of uh, retros uh, Tsar Igor, Rasmus Dalin, Artur Lehkon and Joel Eriksson Ek and uh, Alexander Yelesin um, uh, retro, uh, retro Rook and uh, then uh, Blue 
blue parallel. I wish they would have made these blues like even like glossy or something like that of Eggblood and uh, Nicholas Bedouin. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's uh, the the true future superstar one game zero po zero points. So lol, just lol, and then a tall boys Monahan Wheeler and uh, a Gabe Villardi uh, Rook. Uh, a tall boy with the, the but with pretty good stats like seven uh, seven points in ten games so that's actually pretty impressive and especially on a, a bad team like uh, King so yes so uh, unfortunately not that many uh, breaks recently partially because I'm busy at work and uh, also for another reason is that that. Um, just difficult uh, to get uh, any any retail product and the hobby prices are, are just somewhere in the outer universe so uh, but uh, hopefully uh, this uh, situation will uh, get better so I'm uh, looking forward to artifacts bla blasters and then I'll probably make some videos showing I have recently completed some sets uh, I've been working actually for pretty long time in both basketball and uh, hockey so we'll probably make some of the show of videos